This is 2C boiler, and this is uh, reheat header uh, section number one, reheat, excuse me, reheat header number two. And this is uh, Monday, December 26th. And you can see the water coming down from the uh, reheater section here. It doesn't mean the water, the leak is there, but that's where the evidence is so far. And this is a uh, two Charlie boiler, oh. and I see uh, bubbling uh, water uh, spewing forth from what would be reheater number two bank of tubes. It looks like two, possibly three rows back. Uh, and this section here should not have water in it. This is uh, cold reheat return going into uh, this section of the boiler. So, uh, anyhow, we do have that going on. We have, we have this going on right here, uh, which is a, a bowed tube. Could indicate plugage or overheating of some sort. Yeah. But, you know, I don't see any water coming from top top like no, we right there like we suspected that's right there if you stand right here and see the water yeah, bubble and squirt out right there right behind that too yeah, yeah I don't it could that. be on the back side of that too this is to Charlie HRSG, uh, Mike Miley, Paul Lofton. We're trying to determine if uh, if this is a reheater number two circuit or a HP evaporator circuit. We're pretty sure it's a HP evaporator circuit because when we started raising the water level or bringing water back into the drum, uh, the, the leak uh, reappeared after it had been uh, drained down. So our problem is that these reheater number two tubes uh, are three rows deep and then the, uh, the HP evaporator tubes start after that. So we just got to make sure and it kind of looks like we're going to have to cut through reheater tubes to get to that uh, HP evaporator tube. And they're 12 rows deep starting from the south side working north. If we start from the north side work south we have to cut through three rows of uh, reheater tubes. So. Okay, good. Thank you, Mike. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, hopefully this is the last video clip here. All right, we're into Charlie Boiler. We're counting six tubes over from the wall, from the west wall towards the east. You see these two yellow paint marks. The leak is very firmly and strongly in the vicinity of the, at the, at the bottom of the top yellow paint mark. Mike Miley and I are, are estimating that, that it is the fourth tube back, which is the uh, northernmost HP evaporator tube. It would be the 12th row of 12, to, uh, 12 rows and uh, the leak is spraying toward the north and west uh, toward the uh, toward the opening that I'm that we're standing in and Mike how many feet off the ground would you estimate this that's a good 12 feet isn't it okay we're a good 12 feet off the ground all right over <laughs> yes yes you, you got you you hit you hit it there we go right there You want me to put the light at a different angle for you? I'm thinking right, right about right there as the camera moves down. See that right there? Can you can you do a, a, a pinch on it or a spread on that and give me a little more magnification yeah. with, with your two fingers? Yes. Oh, perfect. Oh, yes. 
Look at look at that. Oh, yeah. There it is. Yep. Look at that right there. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, I seen it there. Yeah, there. Go, right there. Go, go back now. Right there. That's a good. That's a good shot of it right there, Paul. Just watered a hole out in there. You can even see that where the fins right there, on the outside. Bottom dead center of the failed tube. And uh, I don't know if I'm going too fast. Lots of good speed. Does this have a different appearance? Yeah, it's starting to get rougher though, the farther we go. Definitely a bigger difference on the cold side of this one. Opposite of the hole? Opposite of the hole. How's that? Is it clean or is it rough looking? It's a little rough. Uh, Troy, that's it. Let's turn out and you can stop moving. This is Paul Lockton and Troy Wynn. We're, uh, we're going through that same tube number six, but this time. Well, stalactite. Yeah, that's right. Okay, we're not going to stop that. 